The Air Force has several goals around resiliency and sustainability. When they decided to do this energy savings performance contract at Yakota Air Base, those were critical to the uh, intended outcomes for the project. The Yakota Air Base sits in a, a zone that has a lot of climate activity, tsunamis, typhoons, earthquakes. The base has to continue its mission, even if the utilities that power the base are interrupted. The mission they have here is essential to operations within the Indo-Pacific region, and they asked us to focus on achieving a solution that would ensure their mission readiness here in the region. The colonel walked in to the room, and you usually stand when someone of that prestige walks into the room, and he said, no, no, don't get up. I'm not even gonna be here for very long, but I do have something to tell you. The base really needs two things. One, a base-wide control system with a single pane of glass, and two, energy resilience. The project encompasses a pretty comprehensive solution that leverages our ecostructure platform. So there's three main components. The first is a portfolio of about 19 energy conservation measures, everything from building automation to water conservation to lighting. The second component is a 10 megawatt combined heat and power system, uh, and that is outfitted with microgrid controls, and that allows the base to island in case the utility goes down. And then the third is a long-term support contract. We've engaged with the Air Force for seven years here at Yakota, but we have a 21-year performance period. One of the key drivers on this project was to be able to generate their own power on the base. A CHP plant is a combined heat and power plant, and it works by recovering the heat off the fossil fuel generation process. A typical fossil fuel generator is limited to an efficiency of about 30%, but by using combined heat and power, we can achieve efficiencies of 60% or even higher. The microgrid controller detects that we've lost utility power and then prioritizes the most important parts of the base to keep active. It's not just uh, construction, turn the project over, and we're out the door. We're going to have four full-time employees on base every day. The systems and equipment that we install, we're ultimately responsible for them for 20 years. One benefit of the single pane of glass is that leadership and decision makers can click around and change views of the system without fear of breaking anything, while the, the operators within the plants can be doing their job in, in critical situations, making decisions and taking actions without interfering with the view of the leadership. This base was a monumental task. From picturing it on a piece of paper to actually walking through it, it's uh, overwhelming. It, it has been a great project to see everything fall in place together. It's, it's great to be nearing the performance phase and being ready to hand off to the customer. It's gonna be a great partnership with the Air Force.